Well, good afternoon, folks. It's um, yeah, an interesting one today. I don't know how you weekend warriors now feel when it comes to weather and all that sort of stuff. The only day I've got off this week, it's raining outside and um, intermittent rain. It's nowhere near as bad as what they reported. And it was meant to be moderate winds, but there's barely a breath of wind. So hopefully that stays that way. Got to run out of tide in one of these little creeks. We're just going to find some of those deeper holes, deeper bends, see what we can do. And yeah, just hopefully get onto something because I've got an itch to scratch. Yeah, it's been about a week or two since I've been out, so I apologize for no videos or anything like that. So yeah, hopefully we can get it. I'm a bit more prepared for the wet weather. I've now purchased a Missing at Sea Ocean Defiance jumper. So hopefully that keeps me nice and dry. It says it's meant to be waterproof. So, so far so good. I apologize guys if there's not that much cinematic footage, drones and little cameras and stuff like that. They don't do too well in the rain. And uh, my external mic is not waterproof, so I'll be taking that off. But luckily the GoPro is waterproof, so you'll still hear that. But I apologize in advance if there's any wind noise or anything like that. So enough chatting. Let's get the yak off the roof and uh, let's get in the creek. Hmm, the things we do for a little scaly fish. See how we go. Yeah, this rain's on and off, so it was perfect when I was launching. Absolutely perfect. And now, as soon as I'm on the water, she's coming down a bit. But that's okay. I don't think it'll be too bad, hopefully. So I'm going to troll up some of these banks. Let me just get past this little bit of timber. So what we've got here, we've just got a little Rapala Shadow Wrap Jack Deep or something like that. Jack Deep? Shadow Wrap Jack Deep. Oh, I got it right. How good's that? So we're just going to troll that up a little bit along these banks here. Middle of winter, so could get anything to be honest, but... You know, Jackson the summer species, you know, they're kind of not the desired species, but you never know until you try, hey? In terms of gear today, we've got our little spin set up. So this is our one to three kilo, smaller little plastic. So that's a froth bait. Uh, we're going uh, 10 pound liter, eight pound mainline medium sort of head set up so you know three to four inch plastics uh 12 pound leader and a 10 pound main line and that's like your three to five kilo rod as well as that little uh bait casting rod that's more for trolling and stuff like that so we're gonna head up to another bend here nothing crazy going on in that other section but that's okay not to be expected we're in the middle of winter so i'm not really expecting to get you know massive massive numbers or anything like that one bite and i'd be stoked to be honest one little brim probably <laughs> All right, a bit of a rock wall dealio coming up. So I'm going to throw a little tiny little plastic, little froth bait. Really made a cast yet. Just been doing some trolling. Just give it a red hot crack. Seen a couple of cormorants feeding in these little shallows with some little potty mullets and herring and stuff. So. Hopefully that's a good sign. Yep, there we go. Nice. <laughs> tiny flatty. Oh, tiny flatty to save the donut. Seen some stuff on the sounder there, and I don't know if it's bait or not. Not sure. Anyway, little tiny little guy chasing something. Nice. See you, mate. Let's drift down past it. Yeah, there's a fair bit of life down there, actually. Now looking at it. Didn't take too long on the froth bait. Little tiny little guy. Yep. Oh, I dropped it. Oh. oh, no. No, 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 no. Dropped it. Damn it. Damn, that felt a little bit better too. Looks like a lot of bait down there. Just have to keep working it, bouncing it, hopping it. Don't know if you can see that. I don't know what that is though. It can't be bait, surely. There's a few arches like below it and stuff like that. So I wonder if it's like pike or something. And it's elevated off the bottom. So I don't know if, you know, if it's weed. Don't even know. Oh, there's a couple of fish around here getting some nibs. Let's see if they want a bigger presentation. Walking around on a broken leg. 
I can't get you out of my head. Yep. That's a bit better, whatever that is. Big flight, I think. Oh, it's a good flight. Good flight. Just seeing him. Oh, he came off. Fuck me. Way too light, Dan. Way too light. Dan dropping flatties. I'm good at it. Don't know if you saw it on the camera. He was probably 50s. Mid 50s. Damn, 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 damn. On the RT shad too. They never get the old bloody correct, you know, like when I'm going land base on the sand flats or whatever, once you hook them, you want to back off the drag a little bit, but I think that one I just backed off way too quick. I probably didn't give it a good hook set either. Good sign, a couple of cormorants in this tree here. And that's another next bend, so it's got some rock and stuff like that from last time I remember, so. We'll see how we go. We'll just putt along this shallow side and um, just slowly creep up to it. Water temps are, what's that, 15.6. Been a pretty warm week actually though, but we haven't had any rain whatsoever for about two months or so. So yeah, the water's really, really clear. And um, yeah, we've got about, what's it, two o'clock now. So I think the low tide, dead low is like four. So we've got another two hours and then um, we'll come back with it come back with the tide and um, call it a day there. Just a nice little quick session today. Yeah, we'll just see how we go as the rain starts to come down. Got to say though, this missing its sea jacket is so good. I'm not, I'm super dry underneath. Never really had a good jacket. I've had one or two, but they've been pretty bad, pretty poor. Don't see them on the fish. Come on. Oh no! It was tangled. Literally just had it and ran. Damn it. Damn. I had a tangle. And I felt weight and I was like, oh, that might be something. Sure was. Oh, he's going nuts. Oh, nice buddy. He's gonna spit it. He's gonna spit it. Not as big as that one that I dropped, but it's still a fish. Come on. Yes. There we go. Whew. Bit of redemption on this bank here. Sound it was looking really good, but nothing. He was there. Nice. I'm gonna get the big camera out just because it's raining a bit. Oh, okay, chill. You need to calm down. You're being too loud. Oh yeah? He's like 50? 50 or so. There we go. Nice sort of fish on that Mollocks RT shad there. Pouring rain. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. All right, we'll get the hook out and then we'll send him on his way. Perfect eating size fish, eh? Lucky for him, I'm not after a feed today. And you catch and release. All right. He's out of there. See you, mate. So cool. When you catch flatted guys, always check your leader. So about there onwards. Very, very fray because he probably had it down a little bit deeper. So, look at that, just snapped. So, I'll re rig that and um, get back straight back into it. A little flatty cook my plastic. So, we've just changed back to an RT shed, just a different color. This one, AU or something like that. Nice little fleck in it. That one was just on the black and gold Molex. Really nice, really color. I don't really think color really makes a massive difference. So, more just getting it in their face really and bouncing it so really sorry about the lens guys 
pretty sure there's like fog under the lens so just trying to clear it but I don't really want to open the lens or anything out here on the water just to let things in hmm very weird no bait at all nothing zero zilch nada keep going then I'm a little bit quiet so I'm just going to change out a little placky and pop on a halt prawn just to see if that changes anything had a little bit of action purely because the spots that I was wanting to fish they were like not very deep at all and pretty structureless so that's what happens when you you know searching new areas and stuff like that you're not gonna pull up trumps every time so we're just gonna go back to these little bends here where we saw a bunch of bait and caught a couple of fish so just see how we go a couple of different plackies as well now so just give it a go see if there's anything hiding out here Wanting another different presentation or something. Yep. Oh, no way. The little one. It's a little baby. No way. No way. Yes. How good's that? Oh, it's a little cutie. The rain's just stopped. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't think I was gonna get one today. Yes. How good's that? And the rain's just stopped, so we might even get the camera out. He's very, very small, but that's him. Little Chewy. How cute. That's so sick. Be nice and quick with him. Look at that. Nice little cutie on that two inch old productions. Really, really cool. Caught a flatted on this bank just before and um, yeah, nice little cutie, hey? Cute. All right, what we'll do is we'll pop a tag in this one and then um, send it on its way and then we'll try and get back in there. So stoked, as soon as the rain stopped, caught him and so I was able to uh, get the camera out and um, yeah, we'll pop this back away because I reckon the rain's gonna come back again. So, so sick. Very, very cool. Nice little fish. So cool. Alright, see you, mate. He's out of here. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we'll keep going. Might throw this little halty around a bit longer. I saw a couple of things on the sounder as I was letting that fish go, so there might be a few things around here. Hopefully, some more, maybe bigger size. Someone who has no idea about Jewies, I am pretty stoked. Although it was only a little, little dewy, it's my uh, third one of the season and um, for someone who doesn't really know how to fish for them or does fish for them, happy with that. There you go. Feels like a buddy. What have we got? He's run. Oh, he's not a bad little buddy. Real dark. Oh yeah, no, he's a good one. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice one. Nice sort of fish. I was really kind of was dud cast really and I was like, oh it's a bit shallow. Well, I think it's a bit shallow, but he was sitting up there, so that's good. That's really cool. Again, like that other one, I'm not here for a feed, so. Well. Okay, you done. Nice dusky. Really, really dark. Beautiful fish on that little RT shad. Yeah, loving it today. The colours on him, he's absolutely stunning. So stunning. I'll send him on his way. Oh, graceful. Oh, 
Pick up your rubbish, people. Not hard. Not hard at all. Alrighty guys, we've just finished up there now. Um, being winter and all that sort of stuff, the sun goes down pretty quick and I almost forgot about it. So we were packing up in the dark and stuff like that and it was pissing down rain, so no real filming or anything like that. So really, really cool. You know, we got a bunch of flatties, dropped the nice one and got that little micro dewy. So it's my first dewy that's not in the Brisbane River. So that's really, really cool. And um, hopefully we can learn some more about dewies and hopefully get on some numbers and some bigger fish. So, but can't complain with what like two three hours worth of fishing years gone by i would have just been like a little drowned rat and uh, given up and sucked and gone home so really really cool and uh, hopefully some more content to come i hope you enjoy it and uh yeah stick around for the many more episodes to come thanks guys